will start by creating the app and running the simulator. Create React Native App and the app name will be Redux Movies. Okay. The app is created. I enter the folder containing it, so CD Redux Movies, and start the packager with yarn start. Okay, in the same time, I will open the code in a code editor. And let's navigate to app.js, the application entry point. The packager has started, so I can start the iOS simulator by pressing I. The app is running, so I will create a folder structure for it. Application code will be in the app folder, and I will put main views inside containers folder. So let's create it, containers, and the remaining components will be inside app components. Now let's save the sample API results so that we could use them to build the static UI before the integration with the API is done. I will create a file called mockmovies.js and now I will copy the movies, return with the API and export it from mockmovies.js. Yeah looks good. Now let's create the home component. This will be main view of our application. So I put it inside containers, new file, home.js. It will be our initial view and as we will fetch data from API in the component did mount lifecycle method, I need to implement it as a class component. First I will import react from React and I will import view and text from React Native. I will probably need this to or standard React Native components. Now, now let's export default class home and it extends component. I import component here. Let's write a constructor for it. So we first call superclass constructor and pass the props. And I will initialize state of our component. Now the movies will be filled initially with the mock data that we put here. So let's import this mock movies file. Import mock movies from mock movies and if I go here you can see that the array of movies is inside search property so I need to call it like this here okay let's implement the render method now at this moment I will just display a list of movies inside it render First, I access movies from the state. And now I return the component. So it will be wrapped with a view component. And inside I will display each movie by mapping a movies array. So movies map to a simple element displaying just movie title. So the mapping function will take a movie as a parameter and it will return a view element with a single text element displaying movie title. Okay, now I need to import home.js inside app.js. I don't need the sample code that we've got here. I will just remove it and instead import home here. 
app containers home. And I export a simple functional component that just renders the home view. Export default and now home. Okay, I also need to provide the key property. So let's get back to home. And as a key, I will use movie and EMDB ID. Okay, we have created the app and started work on the home component. Keep watching to see how to fetch the data from the API in the next lesson.